In this video, we will use a compass and a straight edge to copy a given angle. This means that we will construct a second angle that has the same measure as the given angle. Here is the angle A that we are going to copy. Draw a half line with one endpoint X. This will become one side of the copied angle. Place the compass point on A and draw an arc that intersects the two sides of angle A. Label the points of intersection as B and C. Without changing the compass width, move the compass point to X and draw an arc that intersects the half line. Label the point of intersection as Z. To construct angle X with the same measure as angle A, we place the compass point on B and adjust the compass width to the length of BC. Without changing the compass width, place the compass point on Z and draw an arc that intersects the previous arc. Label one of the points of intersection as Y. Draw a half line with endpoint X that passes through Y. Angle X has the same measure as angle A. In other words, angle X is congruent to angle A. We can use congruent triangles to explain why we know that angle X is congruent to angle A. Draw BC to form triangle ABC and YZ to form triangle XYZ. Line segments AB, AC, XY, and XZ are radii of circles that were drawn using the same compass width. So AB, AC, XY, and XZ are congruent. YZ was constructed using the same compass width as BC. So YZ is congruent to BC. So triangles ABC and XYZ are congruent by the side-side-side congruence postulate. Since corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, angles X and A must have the same measure. Notice that angle X is not unique. If we had chosen the second point of intersection of the two arcs as Y, we would have obtained this angle X.